Hello guys, welcome back. Today I've got a casted game for you. This is for uh, Chiro, so, or, or Cairo, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. <laughs> uh, but uh, Cairo is, or Chiro is, uh, actually one of the Imperial Age channel members for the Morning Games uh, YouTube channel. And as part of that, you do get to get your own little spotlight on the channel with a casted game. Uh, not necessarily a coaching session, but there probably will be some uh, little pointers here or there, but we shall see. But uh, yes, he's got his moment in the spotlight. Now we're looking at about 900 ELO and it's a 1v1 on Arabia. We've got the Malians uh, for our blue player here and we've got the Spanish for the red player over on the uh, east side of the map. So in terms of uh, the maps then, it's, it's pretty open, isn't it? For uh, Certainly for the red player, I mean, you can easily wall up along the front there and along the side I suppose uh, it might be a little bit more difficult getting over this uh, far end but uh, certainly for our, our blue player um, again might be easy enough to wall up along there but uh, interestingly enough because they're so close together this wood line here just maybe a little bit too far away to be fair for, for walling but uh, it's actually linking up to the red players base so uh gonna be very interesting here both spawned very very close to each other in terms of uh, arabia spawns so uh, we'll see what happens here but uh, we can see the uh, blue player is uh, getting his elephant in nice and early so uh, he's told me he's actually uh, gone for the 19 pop uh, mollians double range uh archer rush which uh, doesn't include any deer so uh, i do have that on the channel do check it out if you want to uh, have a go at this one yourself but uh, quite a good build that one it's, it certainly seems to be quite popular as well ordinarily uh we, you see that on um probably on team games i would suggest uh, this particular build because uh, uh, archers can be countered a little bit too easily with uh, skirmishes in a 1v1 uh, situations so um, normally you don't see that many uh, double range archer plays in a 1v1 nowadays but it's quite a particularly uh, strong build this one because it's so quick and it doesn't need to even need the deer you can probably get away with it certainly at the uh, lower levels like we've got here at 900 elo probably if you're looking 12 1300 elo uh, or above it's uh, probably going to struggle a little bit just because of the uh, counterplay. Oh, with the skirmishes, I thought that villager, is he gonna go down? Oh, it's very quick. He needs a garrison, he needs a garrison, he's gonna, oh. Oh, that was so close. So close. Um, so we're currently at um, 15 pop. Uh, Red is uh, pushing the deer in us, which is uh, pretty, pretty good. Not sure where all his sheep are. To be honest, I don't know where red, uh, all red sheep are. I can't actually see them anywhere. Surely he's not just take. I think he's just taken all the sheep first, actually, because we've still got the two elephants. Doesn't seem to be too concerned about taking the elephants just yet. He's uh, more bothered about pushing the deer in and, and taking those uh, taking those sheep first. So sometimes it you know, could be a good idea that. Uh, being a little bit naughty there running off I think he thought he'd got there but not quite uh, gone quite heavily onto the berries as well so I don't think there's a, any particular uh, set build order at play here by uh, Aero Allison uh, but do a good job at uh, pushing the deer certainly for you know sort of 900 elo although uh, those sorts of things uh, I think everybody has uh, got a lot better at deer pushing and and everything over recent years uh, certainly a couple of years ago at lower elos uh, like we have here you wouldn't really see much deer pushing so uh, certainly a bit of an evolution in uh, low elo play so pretty good pretty good indeed so uh, the blue player is on his way up to the feudal age so we're at uh, 20 population uh, idle time 46 seconds it's not too bad certainly for for the elo range that we're looking at that's not too bad I think you can be quite happy with that. Um, certainly, if you can shave that down, um, because there's you know one and a half villages there. Really, if you can kind of shave that down, that would be much more uh, beneficial, I am sure. There we go. Just get that mining camp down. 
So Molians, very, very strong civilization at the moment. Uh, after the recent buffs. Bit of an overcrowded lumber camp there. You can normally get away with a, a maximum of eight, I would suggest, on one lumber camp. We've got we've got nine there. Uh, certainly, could probably benefit with with just having seven, maybe, on that one lumber camp. But it's fine. I mean, it's got plenty of wood. He perhaps could have made a second lumber camp, or even got a few more on food in this situation. But uh, blue player now up into the field age, and we can see we've got some rangers coming down. Have we? We've got the first range coming down. Do we have enough on wood? We do have enough on wood. Not sure why uh, we've, we've kind of not quite got enough wood there. It's a little bit, a uh, bit of a strange one. Why have we? Uh, why we've not got enough on wood? But maybe it's to do with the walling. I'm not sure. Possibly. Can't quite remember. But uh, we'll be able to get the second one down in a minute. Hopefully. Bit of a delay. There we go. So the second range is down. That doesn't seem to be syncing up very well with the uh, capture age resource count, actually. I didn't see that pop up. Did you see that creep up to 175? Mm. Maybe all those villagers all dropped off. I don't know. Even then it wouldn't have been enough. A bit weird. Maybe it's a little buggy in capture age. But so uh, we've got double range archers on the way. Hopefully we'll be able to get the, uh, the blacksmith down fairly soon. Um, both ranges are producing so hopefully we'll, we'll see that soon and our um red player probably going a little bit too over the top with the farms maybe at this point i don't suppose it really matters i certainly would have uh preferred to have um just stayed on the elephants there i think but there you go I'd say it's something I've ever seen before doing that. Getting all your your farms pre-planned. If that scout just quickly ran in now and just demolished all of those farms, that would be hilarious. <laughs> I would I would laugh at that quite a bit. Um so arch production still going, still going at the moment. Um just getting a little collection forward. Uh, you can probably want to be sending them forward once you've got certainly you know four maybe um and just start harassing this wood line um so perhaps a, could have gone forward a little bit faster with those and just start you know being a real pain uh either harassing the wood line or trying to prevent that um stable from going down so maybe just uh, lost out a little bit there uh, red getting bloodlines in so yeah it certainly wants to get some uh, tankier scouts um maybe that's just because he knows he's uh, so or she he or she probably a she uh, is uh, a little bit later up a little bit late up we get getting nicely walled um, very big walls but such is the map the map needs those huge walls I uh, potentially could have just walled uh, from the wood line to the town center maybe um, I don't really know because that gold's in a bit of an awkward position. If the gold was a bit further back, uh, towards the back of the base, you could have just walled up to the TC rather than all, all of this. But a uh, bit of an awkward map, really, for the, for doing that. And the barriers are so far forward as well. So, yeah, probably probably not do that. Uh, archers just making a little way around, uh, probing, finding a few spearmen, picking those off. Causing a few little issues for the red uh, player, but um, red's getting a blacksmith down. Uh, we've got a few scouts together, um, but we do have uh, fletching on our archers, so uh, certainly the scouts probably not going to do a great deal at the moment, although they do have bloodlines. Uh, archer production seems to have slowed a little bit, but we do have quite a few more of them uh, on the way now, or a couple more on the way. So Blue adding some spearmen, queuing up a couple of spearmen. Uh, sees the uh, sees the scouts from red and just wants to anticipate full scout aggression. So yeah, certainly a good addition there. That's what you want to be doing if you're going for archers. Just supporting them with a couple of spearmen. So if you know you're up against uh, the uh, scouts as we are here, taking a little bit of time to get a food eco going back at home. Certainly, you know, got plenty of wood in the bank. 
get all of these off of the uh, straggler trees. Uh, probably a few too many on uh, on gold there as well. Again, we've got quite a lot of gold banked up, so um, I think you only really need seven or eight on gold. Uh, probably eight just to be safe, so you can uh, gradually get a bit more for your uh, economy, uh, so you can get resources, um, upgrades, and so you can click up. So yeah. Uh, way too many on, on gold there just get them down on, on farms get up as quickly as you can uh, to the castle age but uh, still maintaining the uh, archer production and uh, red not really got anything to answer this with so far it's got plenty of uh, wood in the bank so uh, could probably do a drop in a couple of ranges at this point just to get the uh, spearmen out um, skirmishes out pretty quickly to try and uh, fight this off but it's uh, not looking too great uh, for our red player we must admit but uh, blue doing a good job so far putting loads of pressure on and red getting in with a scout just passing yeah that that's way too many on the gold there oh town bells rang it's panic red's panicking Quite a good little raid this, uh, loads and loads of pressure. Force the second lumber camp to be built and we do have those uh, archer rangers coming down now for uh, red but we've got a, a seven villager lead so far and uh, red just not really got any army other than this one scout that's just been a bit annoying. Um, probably don't need to, to even worry about that scout to be honest, just get those farms down with those villagers. Um, that scout's not gonna do, do much. Other than be a little bit annoying. Certainly not worth chasing them around with villagers. Just leave your spearmen there to do it. So obviously just trying to get things sorted back at home. Uh, achieved that now. So uh, just going, uh, doing a little bit more scouting now. Certainly um, not a huge investment in uh, archers. We do seem to have uh, stopped production. We've got wheelbarrow coming in. And we've got the archer upgrade as, uh, armor upgrade as well. Still floating a lot of wood. Have we got a market? We, had, we do have a market, yeah. So um, we have clicked up now. Yeah, the re there's definitely an issue with the resources with the capture age here. It was showing that um, we were nowhere near clicking up. So I don't know what's happening there. Bit of a delay, bit weird. But there you go. It's going to make life a little bit trickier, isn't it? But we, we are on the way up to Castle Age. Uh, more and more archers coming out now. So uh, we have uh, started to ramp up production again. Looks as though we'll, we'll be going into uh, Crossbowman. And uh, the blue player finding this little wood line here. And loads of villagers there, actually. How many villagers? 11 villagers. And they're just getting massacred. A little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a lag there. But yeah, just getting massacred. How many of these are going to go down? We're down to seven, six, five. Having to run away a little bit. There's obviously scouts and uh, archers and skirmishes now. They're going to clear up the Blues uh, army. So um, one could consider that maybe a little bit, not of a waste, but perhaps could have protected them a little bit more. But to be fair, it's killed off so many villagers. Um, is that was quite a, a decent enough trade? I mean, he's not got the arch, uh, the archer numbers now. Could have certainly had a, a bigger sort of death ball of crossbowmen when he got into the castle age, but you know, there's such a big villager lead now after that uh, massacre on the woodland. There, we've got 12 villager lead now for, for the, our blue player, and uh, more and more archers coming into the fray. We do now hit the castle. We're going to be looking at uh, getting crossbowmen in straight away, I would have thought. There we go. See if Bodkin Arrow comes in as well. Economy is looking okay. Uh, probably still too many on, on gold, perhaps, but at least there's plenty of resources there to make sure we've got uh, upgrades coming in. Uh, probably could do with a few more farms. Woodwise, we're doing okay. We do have a uh, town centre coming down on the front wood line. And, uh, so we're going for a, a two town centre. Uh, play at the moment not going to be having a second one just yet but uh, we are ramping up the uh, production of our crossbowmen university coming in as well so we're going to be looking at getting ballistic soon uh, still no bodkin arrow just yet but um, being able to clear off the clear up these scouts pretty easily I would assume 
There they are, looking quite tanky. They do have the uh, armor upgrade as well, so it did take a little bit of a while to take those down with the uh, bloodlines and the armor upgrade. But uh, our red player is on the way up to the castle age as well. Quite a bit behind, it's gonna be quite a late castle age, be about 27 minutes. Um, pretty late actually that. Um, so uh, it's understandable after all the, the just sheer chaos that happened in his base at, or their base, I keep saying he, that's very wrong with me. Uh, their base, uh, quite a while ago. Okay, so decent amount of crossbows there. Uh, we do uh, not quite have ballistics yet. It looks as though we do have uh, a little bit of a shortage of resources maybe uh, before we can get there, but uh, still no bodkin or uh, archer armor upgrade either. Uh, for these crossbowmen so we're definitely going to need to get those in got more than enough resources to get them in uh, so just need to prioritize getting those in keep the uh, crossbowmen coming out they are still massing up a little bit but uh, it has given uh, red the opportunity to get a lot of skirmishes together so um, fletchings has come in for the skirmishes only just getting blue, uh, double bit axe which is uh, bit of a concern but I think certainly if we had those uh, other two uh, upgrades in here for these crossbowmen we'd certainly be doing a lot better against these skirmishes than we are doing. Thumb ring uh, coming in now again we want to we've got some more crossbowmen there get them grouped up uh, and you can probably take out those uh, skirmishes quite well. Crossbowmen versus skirmishes are fine um, until they get upgraded to elite skirmisher these crossbowmen should be able to deal with these uh if they had uh, the upgrades that they needed but siege workshop coming down now for the blue player which is uh, probably going to be needed at this point uh to take down these uh skirmishes but we do have a couple of knights in the queue for the red player so red going for a bit of a, a skirmisher and knight uh, combination which is going to be pretty deadly uh, if we can mass up the knights and uh, the skirmishes uh, quite well uh, but certainly quite a lot of crossbowmen there still not quite got those uh, upgrades in but we do have a third town center coming down on this gold now uh, so the uh, blue player really being able to ramp up villager production at this point this huge uh, villager lead actually um, for uh, for the blue player here 23 difference 23 that's huge uh red player doesn't have um wheelbarrow either but uh, blue also doesn't have double bit axe or horse collar so a little bit lacking on eco upgrades for both players and again those uh those archer armor and range upgrades still not in i'm surprised we've not actually seen Elite Skirmisher for the red player. Gonna, probably going to lose that Manganel. Can you save it? No. Just not enough time. Yeah, that's a good decision. Get up on the hill. Get that hill bonus and, you, and you'll be able to uh, uh, kill those off, hopefully, with a bit of micro. Uh, range difference between them. I mean, they do have an extra range. Certainly could have had an extra uh, you know, a uh, two range advantage if we've got Bodkin Arrow in. Uh, but uh, nice little massive army there. Almost double the villager numbers. So a lot of idle time, uh, perhaps, as well as all those villager kills for the uh, red player. Really uh, costing them quite a bit. A couple more extra barracks coming down. So we're going to have a crossbow pike combo with a, a little bit of siege for our blue player, which is probably going to be uh, the best combination out of, uh, out of all these, I would have thought. Um, so yeah, I think this is only going one way. Certainly with this uh, eco difference that we've got for our blue player. Nice little boom going now. Nice little boom. Bit of idle time, just keep those town centers going um, could certainly have got quite a few more villages out at this point we'll probably be on the way up to Imperial Age as well um, to be honest we've got both of the uh, we've got the university we've got the siege workshop certainly we've got the resources click up to imp click up to imp so not a great deal happening at the moment bit of a 
bit of a Mexican standoff here, nothing, nothing really happening. Just eyeballing each other across the map. But blue player just getting in uh, squires just to make those uh, pipemen a little bit faster. Now going to start picking off villages. Uh, we still don't have ballistics actually, so we did invest in the university, but didn't get any of the techs. Oh, that that knight wouldn't have even got any shots off if it uh, had ballistics there, but it doesn't matter. GG, well played. Just totally outmassing them uh, with the army there, and the the eco was was just so big. So in, in comparison, not much more. Aero Allison could have done there. So uh, GG, well played.